the Mysterons, sworn enemies of Earth. Possessing the ability to recreate an exact likeness of an object or person. But first, they must destroy. Leading the fight, one man fate has made indestructible. His name, Captain Scarlet. This is the voice of the Mr. Arms. Our revenge for your aggression on the planet Mars will continue with the destruction of the Atlantic airport at Boston. Cloud base, Lieutenant Green, standby officer. Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. President. Colonel White, direct call for you on the hotline, sir. Switch it through on the speaker, Lieutenant. Close the sound doors, will you? Okay, Mr. President, go ahead, please. No doubt you've monitored the latest Mr. Ron threat, Colonel. Yes, sir. Complete standby is effective. The airport in question is the world's most widely used terminal. Thousands of passengers, tens of thousands an hour. Freight, commerce, every civil airline uses it. I know, sir, and I'm aware of the implications. We can't close it down because it's too darned important. Exactly. So the world is relying on the Spectrum organization to combat the Mr. On threat, Colonel. We're keeping all channels of investigation open, sir. Beyond that... I repeat, Colonel, we are all relying on Spectrum. Don't let us down. <laughs> Lieutenant Green, send Captain Scarlet to me, on the double. Yes, sir. Hello, what's that? Heavy aircraft in our sector? World Air Force Goliath, sir. Sustained flight tests on atomic engines three times around the world. You remember? Of course, I'd forgotten. This is Goliath to base. Captain Hogan speaking. Course steady, height 30 thou. All systems A-OK. -okay. How's the engine temperature, Vic? 300 and normal, sir. Hello? What's eating the flight, Sergeant? Six o'clock, sir, and low. Fighter coming up fast. By Jove, you're right. What's that clown up to? Stone me, he's on a collision course. Captain Black has served us perfectly yet again. We, the Mysterons, will now rematerialize the Goliath aircraft and it will be completely within our control. Spectrum investigation room to Colonel White. Come in, please. Go ahead. It may be nothing, sir, but there was a complete break in airwave communication with World Air Force Goliath flight. Uh, the devil there was. The typical Spectrum takeover pattern. Anything else? Yes, sir. Shockwave scanner has reported an explosion right on Goliath's estimated position. Lieutenant Green, launch angels at once. I want Goliath located and tracked. SIG. Stand by angels to launch stations immediately. Details follow. Ah, that's us. Come on, Rhapsody. <laughs> it's a pity you others are off duty when there's some excitement, huh? Come on, hit the lift. The Mr. On business must have broken. I'm coming, just doing my jacket zip.
This way, ladies. Your chariots await. Rhapsody Angel reporting SIG. Ready for launch. Control to Angels. Off you go. We're at cruising speed. Height 50. Reporting for further orders. Course 909. Positive. Same height. Locate WAF Goliath and report. Destiny Angel to Rhapsody Angel. I've got him. Ten o'clock high. I can see him. What orders, base? Make radio contact. If it fails, attack. Authority of World President through Colonel White. SIG? Did you hear that, Destiny? Spectrum Angel to Goliath. Come in, Goliath. Come in, Goliath. No answer. There, Mr. On, all right. I'm leading attack now. sorts of ideas chasing around my head, Rhapsody. But I guess I'm going to have to pick Captain Scarlet's brains. He's closer to the Mistrons and their methods than any of us. Well, Captain, you know the score. The Mistrons are going to crash that Goliath on Atlantic Airport unless we can stop them. That plane's got to be destroyed, sir, in the air. Of course, the Mistrons can rematerialize it, even if we do blow it to fragments. But they won't. Once we make a successful strike against them, they seem to drop the plan in hand and dream up a new scheme. Surely. But the big question is, how do we destroy Goliath? The angels have tried. The force field is deflecting missiles. Well, suppose we put a man aboard, sir. An engineer specialist who knows the controls and the layout of Goliath. Flesh and blood wouldn't react to a force field. But, but how? A chute drops, sir, from above. A chute wraps on Goliath's tailplane, and the man climbs the cords to the aircraft. But the stresses. A pressure suit might save his life, but he'd black out. Maybe, sir. But if the drop was two-man, and I was the other... Mm -hmm. 